This is a how to realign the 7G lens on the VO4A119S dash cam. This is for people that have a blurry left side or what is termed soft focus on the left which is very evident as seen in the short clip here. If yours is similar but much more what I call blurry on the left than on the right this next tip will help you improve the image on the left it is not a complete solution the issue is with one or more of the six glass elements inside this lens housing which we cannot access easily and I wouldn't recommend it let me stop and just say if your dash cam has warranty or you still have 30 days left after purchase I suggest do not attempt this simply return the dash cam and get a new one and see if the image on the left has improved but if you've used up all possible ways or all solutions uh, to improve the left and you just want to do a minor adjustment this is it. This is how you do it. It's actually quite easy. When you're holding your sensor and the left notch indicates the left, this is the left side of out your view when you're recording. So that's how you remember it with this notch. All lenses are reverse and opposite the optics. So everything that the lens sees on the left you see the lens grabs the image and reverses it on the sensor so in fact the left is going on the right side of the sensor and the right is going on the opposite side so what we need to do if you have a left side blurry image is you have to shift this housing to the right and that moves the entire housing minor minor adjustment over enough that now it will grab the image on the sensor in the right area and reduce the blurriness on that side this is how you do it same screwdriver the last two screws on the sensor are here and here this is a very delicate operation because all around these screws are tiny components and you don't want to damage any one of them you don't want the screwdriver to slip however again this is actually quite an easy operation what we're trying to do is shift where this notch is we're trying to shift the housing by loosening the screw here over to the other side so you can gauge it with the outline position on the circuit board the amount of white you can see we want to reduce it by shifting it over so you're going to loosen the two screws you're not taking them out you're just loosening them maybe a tenth of a turn note how hard it is because that's how hard you should tighten when we reassemble when you've loosened it 
you should now be able to shift the lens housing. Now, for us, we will just want to go left and right, but you can see you can go up and down in all kinds of directions. Now it's a little bit loose. Any little bit will either improve or make this blurriness worse. This is the lining we're trying to do. What you must note though, I'll point it out now, on the left side there is this larger capacitor right against where the housing is. You don't want to shift it so much that you bump that or you'll break it off the circuit board. On the opposite side where we are moving we are trying to shift to this side. There are five tiny, tiny capacitors surface mounted and it will actually hit them. If yours has enough of a adjustment, you can see that it's going to hit all four. So we don't want to go quite that far because this is a metal base. And those are metal contacts. There is no insulation in between the two other than the black paint so that's not a great insulator if you rub right up against it so we don't want to go quite that far but you can see here that the, the movement is substantial for this circuit board because of a modification but yours will have enough movement here that you can adjust it and improve your image so all you want to do is hold it once you've, you've determined how far over you can go in my case I'm just going to try to go to the max without hitting those points and also before you begin note here at the top where the actual sensor name is the word sensor is actually silk screened to the surface of the circuit board that's the top the top of your image and when you before you loosen the screw even note if you can see the line or is the line fully visible it, it doesn't mean too much other than if the bottom or top of your image is also blurry this is how you would compensate for it but what we want to do is maintain what it was previous in my case I could not see the line therefore when I shift to the right I also don't want to see the line I don't want to suddenly see the line and shift to the right at the same time I've moved the mount too far so that's it you just have to play with this and yeah you'll have to open this up and do this multiple times but if you're lucky you can get it on the first one so just simply shift to the right and tighten it back so I'm gonna hold mine and just tighten it just do it lightly and then recheck to see has it shifted now in my case mine has shifted so far I can't even see the line anymore on the on the right hand side and I cannot see the line on the top so I know I got the top correct and I shifted a whole lot on the right and if I look here at those four components it looks like I'm right up against them so that might be a tad too far for me but yours shouldn't have to go that far I happen to have an extremely poorly aligned mount and I just want to back it off just a tad and then retighten it so I've reduced the gap now I can see the line and you would now reassemble all the components maybe going over one more time to make sure these screws are tight don't over torque now this is a metal screw inside of a metal housing on a circuit board which you could actually warp or crack if you try to over tighten and you could actually strip it but we're not going to do that you get your housing again cowling matching the left notch and then you reassemble and do some test footage and if you see that it has improved on the left and you want to do it slightly more you can take it apart 
and then do another test video until you get it in the right position. It will generally take two to three times before you get it to a, a position that's an improvement. And my next video, I'm not doing them all at once, it takes too long for watching, but the next video will be to improve the video one more degree by focusing, refocusing the lens. So see the next video if your dash cam has a focusing issue on the left side or maybe even the right side you can slightly refocus it and I was quite surprised at how much adjustment had to be made to this one. So see the next video for refocusing the A119S 7G lens. Thanks for watching.